Okay, this is uh, Jeff W6FCC with Rich WZ2D. We're playing games with uh, recording QSOs and playing them back. First thing we wanted to do is make it easy to transmit. Under here, under Options, you click on Options and you go to Shortcut. And then in Shortcut, you come down here to Button. And under Button, you look for Transmit. And if you don't have anything in Transmit, let me, let me delete this. And I'm going to reselect the Transmit key here up at the top. Uh, let's see, button, transmit, and then I put the thing in the key field and I'm going to tap the key to the left of the one, the one in the X, we'll just tap it and I get an aster, I get an at sign and I just say add and I'm done. So now when I when I tap that key to the left of the one, I go into transmit mode, testing one, two, three, four, and as you can see I'm, I'm transmitting and then uh, unkey and there's Rich. So Rich, uh, are you copying me? Okay. Okay, WZ2D. It sounds like a good test. I heard you loud and clear. WZ2D. Okay, so now we're going to hang up. Uh, oh, now we need to figure out how to set up the system to record these QSOs. So you go over here to ICOM Remote, and we're going to pick ICOM Remote over here. And I'm connected to uh, 3.754, and here's the frequency I'm on. And Rich is here, busy on the 10 through 40. First thing you do is you come down here and you click on AF. The AF button is what what you do when you record. So if you want to create a record folder, you go ahead and you uh, you click in this field, or you do uh, move this over a little bit. You click on the dots, three dots, and you find a place that you want to stick the recording. So what I've done is I've stuck it in here under record, and let's say QSO audio. I picked one 20. 10. I'm going to make it my, today's date, so I want to make a new folder and I'm going to call it, uh, whoops, over here, let me get rid of that folder, Go up to here, and I'm going to create a new folder in this subdirectory, new folder, you can't see what I'm doing, I guess I could have clicked new folder, and I'm going to rename it today's date, so I got it, what, 2019-12-12. And that becomes where I'm going to put the audio. Click on that, and you notice you have this. What are you calling the folder? I'm calling mine. I put it in the O drive under Audio RSBA1, and then I had a subfolder called 2019-12-12, and that's where my recordings are going to go. And I'm going to grab that that thing, right-click on it, and I'm going to stick it into my uh, my clipboard. So I'm just say copy that. Because when I go to transmit again, I'm going to have to transmit that same from the same directory. So I'm going to close this and I come over here to uh, AF again. And now Rich, uh, go ahead and give me a little transmission. Just transmit to uh, say testing one, two, three, four. All right, I think that's right. Put on the right one now. You got a key down. Okay, testing. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. WZ today. Okay, so you're done recording somebody. You hit the stop button and you close that window. Now the next thing you do is you click on the mod window. And in the mod, normally you're under using your microphone. You've got to remember to put it back in microphone if you ever want to uh, ever want to use the mic again. But you go ahead and put it into file mode and you say open. And here's where you're going to want to stick that directory that we just saved. Control V, uh, say hit enter, and there's that recording that Rich just did. So I say open that, and now I'm ready to transmit it. So I'm going to go ahead and go in the transmit mode, transmit, and I'm going to go pick that thing up again, that same file that I was just looking at, which was, uh, I think it's. Uh, right here. I'm going to hit transmit. Now, he's hearing me, but you're not. So let me go over here and put it into Moni mode, M-O-N-I. Okay, testing. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. I've used that today. Okay, that was him testing, I think. And let me, let me transmit it again. I go over here to the mod. 
I say there's the file I want to transmit. There it is. I, I open it and I hit transmit. I'm still in the transmit mode so here goes. It should start to play. Are we playing yet? What's happening? Okay, testing. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. WZ2D. Okay, so what happened there was I waited too long to do the recording. So let me go out of transmit mode. I'm going to go back over here. I, I don't need the spectrum scope. It's just covering things up. So I want to put that one away. So I'm going to go to back to AF now. And... Uh, I'm going to go back over here to the mod. Now I have to put it in mic mode to talk to him. So I say, uh, "Okay, Rich, I'm, okay, transmitting, Rich, I'm now. transmitting now. I hope you can hear I me. I hope you can hear me. And I'm and going I'm to going now. To, the now the thing is in mani mode. Mani mode. That confuses you when you're listening. So I'm going to just take it off monitor while I transmit. And I want you to count to five before you transmit back a signal. So I'm going to go out of transmit. I'm going to turn on the recorder and record you." go back over here and I go back into AF, I hit record, and then Rich comes back on and sees me a transmission. Well, you're not transmitting, okay. Okay, let me uh, stop this. Tell me, okay, start transmitting. No, you you didn't put it back into microphone. That's what I did wrong. You're right. He transmitted without having the mod in mic mode. Yeah, I got it. Well, you have to transmit. I can't record anything if you don't transmit. I know, Jeff. I have to change it back. You're you're on the screen. Okay. I'm gonna have to edit the hell out of this file. This is WZ3 transmitting Whiskey Zulu to Delta. Test WZ3 test. Okay, I only, this time I only got what you recorded, what I recorded. So I want to close this. I go over here to mod again, go into file. I say open. And you notice it has these things in order. So the one I want to okay, send him is, is the most you're, recent while one. You're talking, I can't tell if you're telling me to do these things or if you're just talking to yourself while you're doing them. No, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to a movie that I'm making. Okay. So I say I open up this uh, file because it's the most recent one. I open it. And I'm in the file mode. I'm going to go into transmit. And I'm going to put in the money so I can hear it when it's transmitting. I go into transmit mode. And I send back his file. This is WZ3 transmitting Whiskey Zulu to Delta. Test. WZ to the test. Okay, then I'll put it back in mic mode. In mic mode, tell me, and tell me. I'm going to turn off the I'm monitor. How did that sound? Perfect. Well, you're not a transmit on the radio. Oh, well, I don't. <laughs> okay. Testing again. That, that transmit that you sent back, the recording sounded absolutely perfect. WZ to the. Okay, well it's a little cobbled, but uh, you can figure it out. The, the key here is that on these uh, two screens, uh, where you have the AF and the MOD, in the AF mode you record to a particular directory, and then you hit the mod and you play back out of a certain directory. And when you're done, you can go ahead and hit the file again. I'll open up that file again and I'll send it again to Rich. I go to 12, this was the most recent one. And I first put it in mic mode and I say, I go back and transmit. Okay, Rich, I'm going to send you this file that I just recorded by flipping from mod select mic. I'm going to flip down to file and I'm going to send it. Okay, so I go back into trans to the mic mode and we can see that I'm, uh, I'm actually modulating the radio. If we want to see this while I send him that file, let's let's do that. Uh, let me put this thing away. Uh, I'm going to go off transmit mode, and I'm going to send him back the file that we were talking about. This is a, a little bit complicated, 
but I'm going to go down here to file and now I'm in file mode and I'm going to move this out of the way so I can see the uh, put that away so I can see the spectrum scope now in mic mode you can see that I'm modulating but I put it into file mode and I'm no longer modulating a carrier but I am ready to play this file so I'll hit the file Then I go back to microphone and I do that now. Give me another transmission, Rich, and I'm going to take a look at it on the scope. So here we go. Go ahead. This is WZ today with a follow-up transmission. Testing one, two, three, four, five. It's looking good on the scope in front of me. Um, and I guess it looked pretty good when you sent it back to me. So this is WZ today. Back over to you. Yeah, I had the RF gain way up. You were like 60 over 9, very strong. But that's the gist of it. So I guess the key here is when you want to send back somebody's file, you go over to uh, to ICOM Remote, you pick Mod, and you notice that you can modulate with the microphone, which is what I'm doing right now. You can see that I'm modulating with the microphone. And then uh, instead of doing that with the microphone, I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, this uh, file mode send his file. I'll put it in the mon in MONI. I'm going to probably hear myself talking here if I do that. Back over here. Put it back in mic. Testing one, two, three, four. So you can hear yourself in the earphones. Go back here. I'm going to transmit that file. This is WZ today transmitting Whiskey Zulu to Delta. Test WZ to the test. Okay. And then back to my key at 7.262. Okay, I'm going to okay, shut I'm this, gonna down, shut this and down and, down I'm, done. and I'm, done. I'm done. Now, Rich uh, got off frequency because he bumped something on the keyboard, I guess. 7.26. You bumped the mouse, okay. But that's the advantage of setting up this option key here with the shortcut so that the transmit uses a button. If you use the mouse to transmit, very often you come up here and you click on connect rather than transmit. It's easy to disconnect the other person. So I like to use the shortcut button, the uh, this little this way, transmitting one, two, three, four, and then unkeying that way. So I'm using that uh, tilde that's to the left of the one key, testing one, two, three, four, and uh, Rich should be able to come back and transmit a something. Four or five, why isn't transmitting? Oh, it is transmitting. It is transmitting. Hello, testing. Does it show up? Is it showing up? Can you hear it? Yeah, I sure can. Doesn't, sure can. Oh, okay. I don't know why I can't hear it. Well, look at your uh, scope and put it in center mode. Put it in center mode. Four, five, six. It is in center mode. I see it now. Okay, four, five, six, seven. The end of the test. Yeah, you're very, very strong. You're come. You're coming in at about 60 over 9. What's my signal strength look like there? Go ahead. The, 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 the peaks, the amplitude peaks are the same as mine. Okay, that's good. So this Monty button here, when you're transmitting, when you're transmitting you can hear yourself, you can hear in, the yourself in the earphones. It's a little disconcerting if you hit it this way. I don't hear myself in the earphones, but I do because this. I do mixes. this, it mixes. Sometimes, Sometimes people, people say, say, oh, I can hear, oh, myself, I can hear myself. When I transmit, when I transmit it sounds like an echo. Like an well, echo. Why, well, that's why, because you've got this Monty on. Okay, so I take that off again, I unkey and Rich can transmit, and this will be the end of this uh, demonstration. Okay, respond you back. Uh, no, you're not. Okay, there we go. Testing one, two, three, four. You're way off frequency. Now you're now you're way off the frequency somehow. Uh, to hit it again. Hang on. I'll unkey. Wow. You should be on 7.262. Right. I know that. I don't know how it jumped. Well, there's another thing you can do. If you go to memory here, you can uh, pick a memory channel that you want to use. I'll just try to find one that's relatively empty. I don't know, 40 meter radios or something. I click this field. I hit the insert key a couple times, make some space. I hit memory right, and I say uh, uh, test, test uh, RX TX. Now, if I ever get off frequency again, let me transmit again. If I get off frequency instead of 7.262, I, I make the mistake of going down here 
and then Rich tells me, oh, you're off frequency, I can't hear you, which I'm sure he's going to tell me that. I unkey, then I hit this button, and I'm right back to where I need to be, and now he can hear me if, if I have it in mic mode. Now let me just make sure that's the case, because sometimes... I hear you just like that. Okay, but you got to remember, sometimes this this uh, mod setting gets switched over to file, and if it does that, you can't hear anything. So that's it. That's the experiment. I know it's kind of a long video, but there's a bunch of things you can test with. That's it. I, I'm pretty sure there's a button here on the RSBA1 as well that, that actually locks your frequency, but I don't remember where it is. No, I don't remember where it is. It probably is a lock function. I'm looking here for one. I don't see it. Well, that's it for this recording. I'm going to shut this down. We'll see how many minutes it is. W6FCC, it's December 12th, 2019. Test between Jeff and Rich on Rich's two radios that he has at his location.